एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू बुंदेला लैब टूडे वील बी परफॉर्मिंग एन एक्साइटिंग केमिस्ट्री एक्सपेरिमेंट टू आइडेंटिफाई वॉशिंग सोडा एंड बेकिंग सोडा अमंग गिविंग सैंपल ऑफ केमिकल्स लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड बिफोर परफॉर्मिंग दिस एक्टिविटी लेस्ट अंडरस्टैंड थ्योरी पार्ट वॉशिंग सोडा एंड बेकिंग सोडा आर वाइट सॉलिड देयर एक्वा सॉल्यूशन आर एल्कलाइन विच टर्न रेड लेटमस ब्लू कार्बोनेट एंड हाइड्रोजन कार्बोनेट रिएक्ट विद डाइल्यूट एसिड एंड प्रोड्यूस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड गैस विच टर्न लाइम बाटर मिल्की ऑन पासिंग एक्सेस अमाउंट ऑफ सी थ्रू लाइम बाटर कैल्शियम हाइड्रोजन कार्बोनेट इज फॉर्म इट इज सोल्यूबल इन वाटर एंड फॉर्म कलरलेस सॉल्यूशन मटेरियल रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस एक्टिविटी स्टैंड लाइम बाटर सोडियम कार्बोनेट विच इज वॉशिंग सोडा सोडियम बाई कार्बोनेट विच इज बेकिंग सोडा एमोनियम क्लोराइड सोडियम क्लोराइड टेस्ट ट्यूब स्टैंड विथ टेस्ट ट्यूब एस सी एल विच इज वन मोलर वेइंग बैलेंस स्पेचुला ड्रॉपर लिटमस रेड इंडिकेटर वॉलिंग ट्यूब ग्लास रॉड डबल बोर्ड कॉर्क थिस्टल फनल एंड इग्नोर दिस डिलीवरी ट्यूब विच इज अ जुगाड़ एंड जुगाड़ इज अ इंडियन बर्ड आई नो यू आर फेमिलियर विद बिकॉज यू आर अ इंडियन सो आई मेड अ जुगाड़ इन इन प्लेस ऑफ डिलीवरी ट्यूब सो वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट विद दिस जुगाड़ सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एंड आई होप यू विल बी लाइकिंग दिस एक्टिविटी सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो Now let's perform our activity. So the first part of our activity is to perform litmus red indicator test. So as I discussed in theory, the uh, washing soda and baking soda turns red litmus into blue. So these are the strip of litmus red indicator, and these are the sample of chemical. So in in test tube A, I took washing soda, one gram of washing soda, and five ml of distilled water. In test tube B, one gram of sodium chloride and five ml of water. In test tube C, one gram of baking soda and five ml of water. In test tube D, one gram of ammonium chloride and five ml of water. So now let's perform our litmus red indicator test. So I am taking two three drop of sample A, which is washing soda, and putting on on litmus red indicator strip. so as you can see this is, there is a color change so it confirm it is alkaline the blue color indicate it is alkaline in nature so washing soda is alkaline in nature so as i discussed in theory so here you can appreciate it is alkaline in nature now now i am taking sample b on litmus red indicator strip so as you can see there is no color change so we can appreciate it is basic in nature now i am taking sample c on litmus red strip so now you guess which color will we come uh, is it change color or not so let's see so it it becomes blue so it it confirms it is alkaline in nature now let's see in d which color will come so let's see so uh, i didn't take much of solution so as you can see there is no color change so sample d which is ammonium chloride basic in nature so now you can appreciate there is change a and c there is change in color red litmus turn into blue so these are alkaline in nature and b and d they they are basic in nature there is no color change and a and c there is a change in color so these are alkaline in nature so now let's go to our next part which is uh, scl uh, which is dilute scl test so i am going on it so this is our litmus test so now let's go to our next part now in second part what we are going to do we gonna put dilute scl in each tube approximate 1 ml and we gonna see effervescence bubbling in solution if we see bubbling in test tube we gonna perform lime water test for the solution so what i am going to do i am taking approximate 1 ml of scl in 
and I am pouring it in test tube A. So as you can see, there is a bubbling. You can appreciate. I am again pouring. So as you can see, there is a bubbling in test tube A. Now I am pouring it in sample B. Test tube A, there is washing soda. And now I am pouring it in B. So there is no bubbling. As you can see, B in, in which there is sodium chloride. So now I am pouring it in test tube C. So, so you can see there is aggressively bubbling. Vigorous bubbling, uh, not aggressively, it is vigorous bubbling. I am again pouring in test tube C, which is baking soda. So there is now less because it it get it get uh, 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 I, I didn't get a word. Uh, in first time there is a vigorous uh, uh, bubbling. Now there is no bubbling. Uh, now I am pouring SCL in test tube D. So there is no bubbling ever effervescence so there is no effervescence so for test tube a uh, test tube a and c we're going to perform lime water test so uh, remember i used a word jugad so we are going to uh, set up that uh, we are going to do a setup for lime water test so let's perform our next part so this is all about uh, dilute acid effervescence test. So now let's perform our next part. So now we are going to perform lime water test of sample A and C. So here I am taking, uh, so first I like to explain you this apparatus. This is crystal funnel, this is double wood cock, this is delivery tube and here I take sample of A which is washing soda, here 2 gram sample. Uh, 2 gram sample of washing soda and 10 ml of water and uh, here I am taking 1 molar SCL and uh, so here I am going to perform lime butter test so what I, I am gonna do here I, I pour uh, SCL from here and from delivery tube you can see CO2 will be coming from here so now I am going to perform lime butter test so let's see what will happen I am drop, drop by so I am pouring uh, SCL so as you can see bubbling is happening so I am pouring SCL so let's pour more amount of SCL so as you can see there is bubbling in uh, in a small test tube So as you can see the test tube change, uh, test tube so lime butter solution change milky. As you can see the solution change milky. Uh, and the gas is passed through this tube is carbon dioxide gas. If I pass excess amount of SCL through this tube, uh, if I pass uh, excess amount of carbon dioxide through this tube, calcium hydrogen, car uh, hydrogen carbonate is formed and it, it makes this so, milky solution colorless. But it's not happening, uh, it's okay. So we gonna have to perform this, but uh, okay, My, the apparatus is choked, so we gonna stop it here only. Now, I am going to perform lime butter test of sample C which show effervescence bubbling uh, while doing uh, SCL dilute SCL test. So let's perform. So I am pouring SCL dro drop by uh, because uh, in last uh, activity in while pouring uh, 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 SCL, dilute SCL in sample A. So the apparatus choked. So right now what I will do? I pour SCL drop by or very less amount so we will show excess amount of uh, CO2 pass through this tube and we will show the colorless solution also in last part we didn't show the excess amount of CO2 passed and we didn't see the colorless solution so in this part we also see the colorless solution after, mil after milky solution so I am pouring uh, SCL
So I have to take a dropper. Uh, we take time. We are not in hurry. So this gas is CO2 gas. You see the bubbles. This these bubbles are of CO carbon dioxide gas bubbles. I will take much time. Uh, my dropper is my dropper is damaged. I have to take another one. You can appreciate the bubbles. These are of carbon dioxide gas bubbles, and you can see the solution turns milky. I I am gonna show you how the solution. Let's see, the solution turns milky as you can see. The solution turns milky. Now I pass excess amount of CO2 through this uh, through this lime butter solution, and we will see the colorless solution also. In last part, I gave up, but right now I am thinking of not to give up. because in science results if the experiment done correctly results are results will come but the patience is the key guys Uh, what I am thinking of, I am really doing hard work for you. So right now, what uh, what the task is for you is, is to subscribe my channel, like my videos, and uh, share with your friend and family. This is the task for you today. And I am challenging you guys. I will show you the colorless solution. this is a challenge so bundela lab solution is going to be colorless because it's a challenge now science never wrong I believe in science that's why I challenged you and the so solution become colorless as you can see so my challenge is completed solution become colorless and what happens oh so our activity is completed and now let's see now now the question come for now the next part is to see the result and observation so let's talk about result and observation in the next part so our activity is completed let's talk about result and observation so observation as i already showed you on screen let's talk about result so how do you infer which is baking soda and washing soda so remember when i performing uh, effervescence test while pouring acl in sample a and c only remember a and c sample a sample is washing soda and c sample is baking soda so when i pour uh, pour uh, dilute acl in sample a i pouring again and again acl and there is uh, there is highly effervescence in sample a but when i pour dilute acl in sample c when i firstly pour uh, dilute acl in sample c there is vigorous Because amount of effervescence bubbling, but when I pour it again, there is no effervescence. So what happens here in sample A in washing soda, there is carbonate ion which which react highly vigorously with dilute SCL. But in sample C, 
uh, which is baking soda there is bicarbonate ions which which react uh, less vigorously with dilute hcl so this is the difference between washing soda and baking soda so this is the result and in our uh, the final result of our uh, activity is a and c is washing soda and baking soda so this is the result of our activity and guys here the main uh, I, I would like to say the man and uh, what whatever it is. Uh, my English is little bad and I am in learning phase so ignore it. And uh, uh, this is all about today and see you in the next, next activity. And uh, uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. I am really doing hard work for you guys. So see you in the next activity. Thanks for watching this video.